We're traveling at the moment with the camera and it's night time, so I'm not going to do it now, but tomorrow I'm going to take the panels off the back and have a look to see what's going on because um, it's not working. It keeps, um, basically, it, it tries to ignite and um, the problem I've been having is that it wouldn't ignite. Well, I just unscrewed the, um, the windshield off. There's just one screw holds it on and it just uh, sits into this little recess here that's not very easy. But equally there's also one screw holding the bottom of the burner into place. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, you can see all the flakes and rubbish on top of the burner there. Now that is how it was as I just, just dropped it off the, um, the bottom of the flue. Now um, what's been happening is I've turned the, uh, the fridge on to gas and all it does is it, it tries to ignite, it can't ignite, and then the light, the amber light at the top just, just constantly flashes. And I can hear from inside, I can hear it trying to ignite, but it won't ignite. So I'm going to assume if I clean the rubbish out of there, um, and possibly out of the flue, um, it should prevent that from happening, it should work okay then. But we'll see. Wish me luck. I'll just put that all back. I'm going to have a try, I'm just going to turn the, ignit the igniter on, or turn the fridge on, not onto gas, see what happens. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it is actually, oh yeah, you go, can you see that, that's a light. Right, I cleaned all the, I took the jet out and cleaned the jet, the, the jet is literally behind this pipe here. Um, and all it is, is very, very thin, well I believe that's what the jet is, and it looks like a very, very thin piece of pressed steel with a tiny hole in the middle of it. Um, which is a bit of rubbish, really. Um, and then you got the obviously the thermostat on there and the igniter. You got the pizza igniter here, I believe. And that one next to it would be the one for the sensor. Or one of those, I'm not sure which one actually, one of them would be for the sensor um, to turn the, the gas on and off here with this electro. Well, there. So, um, that's well, that's what I believe anyway. That's what it makes sense. So, because I've noticed whenever, whenever the flame goes out, the gas cuts off, and this is the only thing in, in line with the gas pipe. See, so the gas pipe that comes from here it comes from there's a valve inside the camber, um, and then the gas would flow down this thin pipe here to the, to the burner, which is as, you, as I've shown you in the series, is still a light. Yay! Just about, can't seem to focus on that, but there you go. Oh, there you go, it's focused on there. But it is still light. You can barely see it. A, you can see it's red in there. So, um, yeah, and it's, it travels to there through this little pipe, and behind, behind this little union here, there is a very rubbishy flat. So, it's a, it's a bit of like a tiny bottle top with a hole in the middle. <laughs> Um, so that's, like I say, that, I don't think that's pretty clever, I don't think that's very clever, but um, that works, and that's obviously what the, that's obviously part of their design.